Hi guys, today I am going to do a Tacket Tumbler with a Chameleon Flake. Um, and I'm going to put this temporary tattoo on this tumbler. So, I'm going to get started. I'm going to put two coats of the Tacket over and over. Um, Aileen's also has now a stick and re-stick. So, either one. Um, I'm not sure if one's actually replaced the other. I don't know. I haven't gotten the stick and re-stick in yet to try that. But I'm going to do two coats of the Tacket and wait like 15 minutes in between. This is a 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow. I'm just going to quick get this on and let it dry. Just a soft bristle brush. And I did what I always do. I always say I'm going to do my bottom first and then I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the bottom quick. It is super warm in this room right now, so this probably will not take too long to dry to be ready for a second coat. You don't want to see globs of white, too much white, when you apply it. <clears throat> if you do that when you go to rub the um, pigment or glitter on, that's when you may end up with issues. So I'm trying to smooth out the majority of that. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry for about 15 minutes and then come back and do the second coat. Okay, I'm going to real quick get this second coat of Tacket on here. Or Tacket myself. Kind of patting my brush around so it's not stiff. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom first this time. Okay, sides look good. I'm going to run over the bottom again now that my brush is drier again. Make sure I got my edge good. All right, I'm going to go let this sit for another 15 minutes or so and I will be back to put the chameleon on. Okay, I am ready to put the powder on this one. So I'm just going to use a makeup brush and a gloved finger. going to burnish the powder in. Try not to lose too much of it off the cup. Chameleons have to go over a black base. To be at their best.
just rubbing it on. <clears throat> Right at the bottom. Turn around that edge too. This is where how smooth you got your tack it on is going to make a difference. And I didn't do the greatest job this time, but I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit of the mica itself, the chameleon mica powder, into my epoxy. And that should hopefully help smooth it out a little bit. So, it's kind of a violety blue shift. It's pretty cool. Hopefully you can see some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my resin mixed up and be right back. Okay, so I just mixed up 15 mls of the Artist Resin Medium Viscosity to try that out. And I'm going to mix a tiny, tiny bit just a tiny bit of that same chameleon powder right in here. Hopefully it'll still be dark enough over that to work out. Otherwise I just wrecked this cup and I'll be starting again. So I'm just making sure that's good and mixed in. This resin's a little thinner so I probably have way more than I needed for one coat of it, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna get my turner on and get this applied. Oh yes, <gasps> wow. Hopefully you can see that. I'll bring you down for a close up in a second. It's beautiful. And this resin goes on really nice. Don't forget the bottom. Definitely need less per coat with a medium viscosity. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I mix up a batch for multiple cups. Because I mixed up 15 and I still have easily 5 in this cup. So that was 10 mLs on a 20 ounce skinny. But oh my god, this chameleon is so pretty. Just making sure I got it all. And that smoothed out any of the imperfections I had in the tacket layer by putting a little bit in the top coat as well. I do have a couple bubbles, but I didn't let this resin sit at all after I mixed it. I came straight on, so. All right, I'm gonna take my gloves off. I'm going to get the turner turned the other direction and I am going to swing this light around so I can get some more light on it. I'm on the charger so I'm going to unplug it quick and bring you down. Hopefully you can see the purple shift in this. 
And I'm going to hit it with the heat gun in a second to get rid of some of those bubbles. But, wow. That chameleon is gorgeous. Let's set you back up here in your stand. Carefully. And I'm going to grab the torch real quick. Just to get those bubbles. So I will let this dry. And then I will come back in. And get the tattoo on. Um, I'm going to grab that real quick. I'm gonna put this one on it and I think it's gonna look really cool hopefully hopefully enough of it'll show through this is pretty dark but I think it'll still work I hope cross your fingers for me so we'll be back tomorrow to apply the tattoo so this ended up with some crazy fish eyes long after I walked away from it when I did it the first time um, I did another coat over them, but you can still see where some of the fish eyes were. I can't really explain them. Um, I don't know what happened. It was absolutely flawless. So, I also decided that it is too dark. This is not going to show up. So, I'm going to just go outside and give it a little power wash so the fish will pop off of it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to take you out there for that. It's kind of drizzly today and I want to just get it done quick and I don't want to bring everything else out with me. So I'm going to do that and then I will come back and show you. Okay, I am ready to get the decal on this one. This is how it looked after the tacket and then the epoxy over it and then the power wash with the white so I'm just gonna pick out a spot where there's quite a bit of white and this was the fish that's going on this one so I do want to make sure that like the fish's head ends up so I think I'm actually gonna put this one at a slight angle like this and then I have my damp cloth over here and I'm just trying to smooth out from the center a little bit with that cloth just trying to control any bubbles Glad I got the uh, power wash done when I did because we are pure rain now. Probably off and on all day long. So, and hopefully, that is not a bubble in the decal or the tattoo. But I'm going to try and slide some of those bubbles out before I move the paper off. And I'm just going to give it a slide, not a pull. There we go. I love it. I really love these tattoos. I'm going to have to let them go to retail and see if any if there's any interest before I order more. But I have been having fun playing with this set of fish. I think I'm halfway through the batch already. So... I'm going to let it dry and then I will get a layer of clear on top. Beautiful. 
Okay, I am ready to get a quick coat on this. I'm just grabbing my gloves. My resin's all mixed. And I don't think I'm going to put any cheap glitters or anything in this one. I'm just going to let it be because I don't want to interfere anymore with the um, chameleon. So, just going to get a regular clear coat. I have quite a bit of rum. Yep resin mixed up over here because I have another cup to go after this one at least one more so but this one is gonna get a fairly good coat so it's on there that was kind of messy but I'm just going to smooth it on. This is the CC DIY Artist Resin. It is the same resin that caused the fish eyes on the first coat, but hopefully this coat will not do that. It's a little warmer and a little bit more humid today, so that might make a difference as well. All resins like different environments and you kind of have to play with them to see what works for you in your area and as the weather changes and the seasons change uh, your resin may change you know it goes from being a hot dry heat in the winter to naturally warm and humid as you roll into spring and summer and then you may get dry heat again in the summer it's just I think all epoxies have their own learning curve and you get so used to one brand that when you change it's different but I have been trying to get away from my favorite one simply because of that um, contact dermatitis I get from it and so far I've had no issues with the CC DIY. I've actually touched my um, arm with it a couple times by accident and so far so good. So, alright, well, that is that. I'm going to let it spin for a bit and then I will um, show you what I have later on. Alright. Okay, here is this little fishy all done. The uh, background color is absolutely perfect for the scales on this fish. You can see that purple and blue shift coming through in the chameleon. And then you have the purple and blue fish. So... She is all set and ready to go. Just got to sit and cure and then it can leave my house. Watch her come around one more time. Absolutely freaking love this one.